Uh, let's do some hitchhiking. Just slope there. French motorway. Going to hitchhike here. Going to uh, D-Day, June the 6th. It's all forest here. 24% of France is forest. So I'm filming some logos again in the car while I'm hitchhiking. Well, this one is pretty clear. It has two squares in it and a circle around it for the compass. So it does say square and compass. It's quite obvious. Only the colors, green and black, it's not very often seen. But it does say square and compass. And it's sort of, it's sort of a swastika in it as well, in, in a way. Oh yeah, and I see it has a G in it as well. The G, which is in the middle of the square and compass. So here's another one. The S is in three parts, so it's the concept of three, and it is in the square for the concept of four, so it says square and compass. And there's a pyramid in it, uh, left down, and right up, there's the inverse pyramid of death, as the people in Auschwitz, they had it on their breast. So this is very Masonic. Concept of three, pyramid, concept of four, square and compass. And the S, of course, if there's two S's, it's, it says Isis. Everything belongs to them. We are just their slaves. So I'm camping here out in Normandy, next to the motorway here. It's a, it's a whole lot of noise from here in Normandy. You see. Next to the petrol station where I'm going. And I'm going to... Uh, to D-Day. Uh, in a few days it's gonna be uh, June 6th. Today is June, what is it, 5, 4? Today is June the 3rd and uh, so on Monday it's June the 6th. Let's see if I can get there. And, uh, I already filmed it for you like 10 years ago, but uh, it was raining all the time. So I'll try to do it again. I had a good night here. Very nice. Next to the little flowers here. Really nice. Little yellow flowers. Me. So I'm here during the, um, it's uh, June the 4th, I'm not sure I'm going to stay, you know. Apparently the commemoration at Omaha Beach, it's all uh, on invitation, so I don't think that's a, uh, you, know, you can see here all the, all these guys that love armaments and military stuff. None of them ever went to a war, uh, that's for sure. It's raining here all the time. Oh damn, police, let's run. What a circus. It's a bloody circus, eh? No, we need a war against the enemy within. Not like this, people fighting each other. It's absolutely stupid, I know. I don't think I want to go in it's here. It's under enemy fire.
I'm not, I hope he's not going to pull the trigger while getting out of the car. Oh, thank God. Ah, oh, this fantastic. Another traveler with a... Um, what, what was the brand again? Ben Pecker. Ben Pecker. Ben Pecker from Germany. From Germany. Oh, that's and very, there's a guy. Very nice. I like uh, it. With brakes. You even got brakes on yeah, it. Yeah, this is my brake. Yeah. So I'm going to go down. I can yeah. brake or I can hang in the... So, so you're from? I'm from Holland. Yeah. From the southern Holland. Okay. We have also hills, and in the neighborhood of where I live. Yeah. There's also a uh, American uh, Northern Cemetery. All right. And uh, it's my, it's my. Um, I didn't say it. Uh, I go for four weeks. One hike. Nice. About 430, about 400 miles. Yeah. 700. Okay, great. And I have to uh, walk every day about 25 kilometers to, to get it right for back home. So, so where are you going to? Huh? Where, where are you going to? I'm going to, uh, to, to Limburg in the Netherlands. Now, from here to yeah. the Limburg? Yeah. Okay. And no, where, where is Limburg? Limburg in is the, the southern part of the Netherlands. Ah, right. Okay, good. Between the border of Germany <laughs> and Belgium. Okay, well, let's walk to Omaha Beach then. Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> walk, we're walking to Omaha Beach. Me and my sandals, of course. It's the best thing to walk about, to walk on. Don't get any blisters. This here is the American Cemetery here. A lot of cameras here, they're all looking at me. But this is here is interesting. Uh, we see here the um, the concept of four. There are four rings, circles, and a circle is the concept of three. So when you enter here, it's a square and compass with the pentag the pentagram on it. Uh, so let's have a look. I was here in the winter, and here you look like a a pharaonic temple here with six. I don't know how many rays here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, and again the three stars here, the concept of three, there's six. Yeah, here. So here I am again, like 10 years later. And you see here, now it's not raining. It says here 666, you yeah. know, there was a satanic ritual on June the 6th. June is the 6th month at 6 o'clock. And here you got seven rays, which is the concept of three and four together. Uh, you got the hexagon here, which is the seal of Solomon. The kings of Israel has nothing to do with the, uh, the jaywalkers. And the whole thing is in a, in a circle, you know, for the compass. So where's the square? Well, th this thing is almost like a square here. You know, we might say, well, anyways, there are squares in it. So it does say square and compass. And uh, so I'm here at, uh, it's June the 4th at Omaha Beach. Omaha Beach, we might say. And we do say that. It's Omaha Beach. What a bitch, hey? That's the traveller. Hey mate! <laughs> so here's a statue of a man is being grabbed by a sort of a reptilian. And uh, you know, that's what it is basically, you know? Like Pharaoh having the, uh, the snake on his head. It's a war against mankind. This is like the Washington Monument here, you know, with the little lakes here. And the two poles for Yashin and Boaz. Here, it's all occult, you know. <clears throat> so there's the sea where they landed. Here's another Yashin and Boaz with the falcon on top, the Horus falcon. Where is it? There, there's only one bird, you know, hanging in the air like that, and that's a falcon. So, and there's the thing I wanted to show you again. Uh, 
under a tree like nobody really sees this here this wasn't here before when I was here I could stand here in the grass you see uh, I can't see my I have to stand here in the grass here so there it is again the dollar and uh, yeah the all-seeing eye Anuit Kuptis, here it says Novus Ordo Seclorum. Seclorum actually it means secular, it doesn't mean the ages or something. It means the new secular order. No more God, no, satanic. That's what it means. And um, this is what I found out recently. You know, you got this, I've been seeing, watching this, you know, for, I don't know how many times, I never saw it. You got this sort of grass or waves, or I don't know what it is. And here are three, so for the concept of three, standing for the compass, and there's number four, all together. And these ones here, they got three grasses in it, or three waves, whatever it is, or crowns. Three, you see? And another one, three. It's all on purpose. It all says the concept of three. Uh, what do you know? This one here, it's the concept of four for the square. So this is what it means, finally, folks. Now you know what it means. You've probably all been thinking, what does it mean? And in the middle, the Roman letter, um, you know, letters, figures, it says, of course, 1776. And the D is 500. C is 100, L is 50, and if I put um, D and C together here, there is a 6, you know, uh, D and C, it's uh, 66, uh, 60, sorry, D is 50, the C is, uh, the D is 500, and the C is 100, so it says 600. Excuse me, I'm a bit tired. And here, the L is 50, together with the X, it's 10, so it says 60. So we already have 660. And here, at the end, it says the V and the 1, it says 5 and 1, is 6. So in this 1776, it does say 666, just like on the other side. And then we got left, what, what do we have left? So we, use, we already used the DC, LX and V1. So we got left the M for Mille, which is 1000. We got left 1C for 100, so that's 1100. And we got left 1X for 10. So it says 1110. So, what happened in the year 1110? Uh, I forgot it now at the moment. There was something with the Knights Templars. Anyway, it's in the middle of the Crusades. And um, I'll tell you later. Oh, I forgot it. I'm tired, you know. So, Pharaoh. Me. Me. Pharaoh. So we might say, you know, all these people there, they're all dead. Well, they died for the dollar, because this is on the dollar. That's what they died for, right? It's all about money and power, right? It's such a shame. We need a war against the enemy within, eh? And 1110, what was it again? Well, I forgot it. Uh, so many things in my mind. I'm tired of been walking. I'm all wet. So now you know what the grass means, or the waves, or whatever it is. It says the concept of three and four, it says square and compass. <laughs> That's, uh, I don't know, I can't see it. Oh yeah. I've been having it for you. Okay. So, so this is what he got on his, uh, here in English, liberation route. So oh, he's walking here, and here in French, Route de la Liber Libération. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. 
So they died for the dollar, eh? That's what they died for. All these people died for the dollar. So Pharaoh, they get stinking rich. What a shame. Of course, this here is octagon. It's octagonal, you know, where the two poles, you can't see it with the falcon. So this is the Horus matrix and Yashin and Boas, where they are. One here, one here. It's octagon. This is what the people die for, you know. You see, it's octagonal. Shall, shall I count it for you? Yes, let's start here. So I'm on this side here. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Octagon. I'm back at this side again. That's where all these poor people died for. It's all occult. So this is a chapel here and it stands on a circle. As you can see, yeah, it's a circle. So, together with this lawn, and there's a similar lawn on the other side, it's like a big sun hieroglyph of Pharaoh. With on one side the reptilian eating the human and the dollar, and on the other side we got the Horus Matrix, which I'm going to show to you. Good thing in winter was there was not so many people, but at least it's a bit sunny now. So fine, like can videotape. So I'm here in the middle of the sun hieroglyph with the two lanes here, and there on the other side you see Isis with the falcon. It's all occult. That's what they died for, you know. And my grandfather helped preparing this with the SOE, the Special Operations Executive. Only he never saw. Never saw the end of it because he died in 1942. So here on the other side of the Sun Hieroglyph we see the two statues. It's all occult. On the left hand side we see Isis with the falcon god, the same as on the mast for the Yashin and Boaz. And this is Horus for the Horus Matrix. And on the other side we've got the French Isis called La Marianne with the rooster, which is the same thing, which is the Republican. Uh, Isis, where the whole re the idea of the Republic, where it actually comes from. It was born in France by the Knights Templars. And so here we got the whole sun hieroglyph, sun hieroglyph with the circle in the middle. It's all occult. Yeah. And uh, so what was the, uh, you know, Isis here, she had a son. She was pregnant with, uh, with her son Horus. The falcon, that's Horus. And then um, her husband, Osiris, well, she was pregnant with her husband. And then Seth came, or set on, the lord of the underworld. And Seth, he said, Isis, if we kill your husband, we can raise your kids new from scratch, just as we see here. Just kill him. The babies, you know, young guys, 17 years old, and we can, the women stay behind, or the men, you know, and uh, so they could raise the kids new without the man. That's the whole idea. And uh, so she said, no, no, you're crazy. It's my husband. I don't want to kill him, you know. I'd uh, go away. So, zhoof, Seth, he went away. And then they had a quarrel, and... She said, Seth, Seth, where are you? I don't want this man anymore, you know? I don't want, kill, let's kill him, you know? I, he said, okay, I'm gonna handle this thing. They got a yin and yang soldier there. And, uh, in white and blue, blue for the war. So he said, um, so he cut Osiris up into 13 pieces. And, uh, the thirteenth part, he, they threw it in the River Nile, and his friends tried to find it back again. And but they never found the thirteenth missing piece, which was his sexual organ. 
so they made the obelisk which represents that. So this is the Horus matrix and that's why these two statues are here. That's why all these men had to die. You know, look at him praying there, he doesn't even know where it's all about, neither do these soldiers. And here on the, on, the, on the sword, you know, there's the, uh, the concept of three, which is them, our masters, the side of the pyramid, you know, standing for the compass. And let's see if it has on the other side, on her, no, it doesn't. So this is probably granite. And that's funny. Now that's funny. And no three stars on this side. So this means, you know, this also a, a reference to the fact that, you know, this is the French, like, European Isis. And that's the real Isis, where they all come from, the pharaohs, the real pharaohs. That's why it does have this concept of three on this side and on the other side. You see, everything has a meaning, meaning, you know. Why didn't they put the three stars on the other side, you know? Because this is the real Egyptian stuff here. This is the real deal. You know, look at her, what, a, what a mean face. Let's go die, you boys, you know, so we can raise mankind new from scratch and make an obedient little whatever out of it, you know. These, these here, they probably won't even know what it's about, you know. Oh, look, I was just filming the statue. Look, look what I found here. I found a bloody potato mash here. Oh, yeah. Well, I can use that for the pegs of my tent, you know, to hit them in the ground, yeah. Or maybe I can threaten the car drivers who won't take me hitchhiking. Well, I can use that one. Well, let's take the potato masher. It's from the, uh, the Jerry's, eh? Put it here in my... Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, now they'll... Nobody's going to refuse me for hitchhiking, eh? What do you say, Isis, eh? You going to do any Horus Matrix then, eh? You... That's why they call it Omaha Bitch. Uh, there she is. The Omaha bitch. You know, don't do their wars for them, you know. The French wouldn't even take you hitchhiking nowadays. Even if I would ask here, can I put my tent in your lawn, they wouldn't even do it. I have to put it somewhere in a field, you know. They wouldn't give me a place to sleep. They did for the last seven years, you know. Except for some nationalist Alsatians. The only ones. Don't do their wars for them. They forgot about you. Dummy. Stupid. Just don't do their wars for them. Don't do the wars for the Ukrainians. They will forget about you. They only think about a big car and a big Mercedes. You know, they forget about you. I see Ukrainian truck drivers, they don't even answer me when I ask them for hitchhiking. Same as the Poles. Don't do it, you know. <clears throat> Must be stupid doing all these wars for them. You die. After the war they won't even... They, won't, they will forget about you, you know. You all died for nothing, as my grandfather also did. You all die for nothing, you know. Don't do their wars for them. It's only for the dollar anyway, as I've just shown you. Don't do it. The people you're helping, the, the, look at the whole lawn, the whole forest of it, you know. Disgusting. It's, it's all a lie. Now, as far as you can see, it's all a whole forest of crosses, you know. And as I told you, Christians are the biggest killers in, in the world. In two world wars, they murdered millions of other Christians. So millions of Christians murdered millions of other Christians. I mean, these, am I mistaken? These are crosses, aren't they? You know, Christians, all Christians. Biggest killers in history. It is a cross, can't you see it? Yeah, Mike Tyson. 
All Christians, the biggest murderers in history. I mean, this is a fact. Anyway, it's a it's a pharaonic oriental religion. Anyway, you know, in the Bible they don't even talk about the Europeans. We don't even exist. You know, so it was the Bible. It stops at the the Mediterranean. God was Pharaoh, and he still is. You know, this is God. He was adored as a god. You know, there are gods, Horus, Isis. So this also means that the Europeans, we don't even exist in the Bible. That means we are, we are not from Adam and Eve. At least I'm not, you know. I don't want to be. It's an Oriental book for the Orientals. So let, let them deal with it, you know. As the Europeans, they don't exist in the Bible. That means the Europeans are not from Adam and Eve, period. It's another book for the white man. So I just got kicked out. I get kicked out everywhere by the guy by, with the cowboy hat here. But he was very pleasant and uh, very calm because I didn't wear a t-shirt and I refused to put it on. So he gave me his card. Nice guy, but he kicked me out anyway. <laughs> I had a good conversation with him. So Homie Ross got kicked out again, eh? as usual. So here, of course, is the Templars V. There you go. They're the ones behind it. And of course Churchill, he was of the Order of the Garter. Being an aristocrat himself. Born in Blenheim Castle. The son of a duke. So this was the cowboy, Canadian, who together with the... Uh, with some French security there, who kicked me out of the... Uh, the cemetery, uh, but he was quite friendly, and um, so I promised him to to send him my uh, information about how the Swiss financed Adolf Hitler, and I will. Well, it's the same, it's the same, I think every. I mean, I don't listen to any more of their orders, you know, put on a t-shirt, do this, take a um, pharaoh's poison, I'm not even allowed to to pronounce it. I don't, I take any of their orders anymore. I mean, I'm not doing anything wrong, you know, sitting in the sun without a t-shirt. So, you know, but anyway, I was finished with my filming, I had nothing anymore to do. Um, you know, just give him the potato masher, you know, for my sake. Just give him the potato masher, you know. There you go. Let's give him the potato masher. All of them. Oh, okay, there's the McDonald's somewhere in uh, Normandy. I forgot the name. Next to... Uh, I forgot that name as well. <laughs> Uh, look, that's Homie Ross there. Well, usually I I, 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 I look for a better place, you know, where nobody sees me. But I needed the hedge here because it was so windy. Behind there is the beach, you know, and it's... The weather is quite horrible here, you know, it's quite... Quite raw. And uh, as the tent is quite difficult to pitch, Uh, I needed the hedge, but here, look, I'm sleeping next to the pharaohs here. Uh, why, why do you think they put the sun here on the house, hey? Eh? Just like that, hey? Eh? They need it for the construction or what? No. And here, look here. There's a square with a circle in the minute, in the middle. It's a square and compass in the roof. Can you believe it? I mean, they don't need to do this for the roof. You know, the roof would would hold otherwise as well without the square and the the square and compass in it. You know, so Pharaoh, me, me, D. 
dirty toes. So, you know, I have no doubts, you know, like who is living here, what kind of persons, you know, nice house, almost at the beach, you know. Oh, look, there's a door. Shall I have a look if it's open? It looks like the door to the tennis court we had at home, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it was funny yesterday, you know, with the uh, the American cemetery. You know, I, did, I didn't even take my camera out, you know, they blow themselves up if you try to film them, you know. I had a nice little camera to do that, you know, but the, the, the Swiss police, they stole it of me. So, um, you know, you, you, you just have to take off your t-shirt if you want to see the, uh, the director of the, uh, the American Cemetery at, at Omaha Beach. You know, just take off your t-shirt and you got a meeting right away, you know. And if you want to meet the French president, you have to, you just take everything off, you know, he likes that. Uh, I mean, if you're a man, which we could see at uh, the La Fête de la Musique. I, don't know, I think it was in 2018 or something or 17. He was with a lot of uh, pinkless killers at, uh, at the French Elysee Palace, the presidential palace. You know, Loads of pinkless killers he was with, and having a party going. I know, really, just punch in. Fet de la music. So this is the door to the pharaonic stuff here. Well, of course, it's closed. Well, I could get in here. Yeah. So that's all pharaoh living here, you know, with his sun hieroglyph and square and compass on the roof. Well, don't you believe this is not true, people? You can see it, can't you? They're all hiding under their bloody noses, they are. Yeah, look at it, you know. It's so obvious, the sun. Amunra, the sun hieroglyph, almost. And here, square and compass. They don't need to do this for the roof, it has no function. They have it twice, you know. Look, they've got their own door next to going to the McDonald's, you know. Yeah. Well, at least I don't need a door to go to the McDonald's, eh? I, I got my zipper of my tent. Yeah, that's my door. So, in fact, this is uh, where I slept here in this town here. And I'm here in the McDonald's. So here you see it's all about the um, D-Day, so apparently there's still a veteran left, you know. And look, it's everywhere. You see the two squares in it and a circle? So it says square and compass. Everywhere, you know. Just like on the house just before, you know. We're just their slaves, you know. We, we just die for them and then, you know, be happy to be a hero or something. Well, of course, he was also shitting his pants, you know, the real heroes, they're all dead, you know. That's as simple as that. I am uh, the, the General uh, von Stauffenberg with my uh, potato musher. And I'm sitting in the Mein Donalds from the paperclip organization because um, the uh, Germans lost the war, but we Nazis, we won the war. And I'm looking out at the Mein Donalds from the Mein Kampf. And look what I see. This is uh, the red uh, triangle, the inverse triangle of death, tot from the Auschwitz political prisoners, like the Sean Ross political prisoner, as you can see here. It says political prisoner. Yeah, look. This is in the McDonald's, in my, in my Donald's. <laughs> you know. 
Uh, you need the potato masher. So I'm the General von Stauffenberg and uh, it's a real mind camp to get it down so I must see if the meat if it is dead otherwise I need to use the the potato masher here and tot yeah you know dead I'm sorry, I got a little bit upset, you know, like, if it's not taught, it's a real mind Kampf, you know, a real struggle to get this down. <laughs> so I need another hit with my potato mash. Yes, it's good, yeah. <laughs> now it's taught, like the, here in the Auschwitz. Inversed triangle of death for the political prisoners. Pharaoh, me. Taught, potato masher. Oh, look at the nice view of this field, eh? Ah, it's like the sea. Oh, man. Took my kratom that makes me high. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm here at Juno Beach at Courseau. That makes me happy that lawn <laughs> after I smashed a hamburger with my potato masher. <laughs> I took some kratom. Makes me so happy. And my feet too. Guys, are you happy? Ah. Oh, the whole thing is full of hypocrites, you know. There's a lot of ex-soldiers and veterans, you know. While they were in the war, you know, they were shitting their pants. You know, they, well, the war is over, made it like, oh yeah, I'm a hero, you know, like. It's always like that, eh? Terrible, terrible machines. So I just come have a look at the beach. Well, you see, I'm hitchhiking here, all the Frenchies, nobody stops. It's June the 5th, it's like D-Day tomorrow, you know, in Normandy. The old Normans here, you know, these French number plates, and nobody really stops, you know. Nobody stops at all. I tell you, they're a bunch of hypocrites, you know. They're here with their numbers, with their, with their flags, and oh, thank you, uh, Americans, for liberating me. And they don't even see a, take a hitchhiker. Well, they see, you know, got a military pack and, you know, so they, they know why I'm here and they don't stop, you know. So don't liberate any peoples, you know, they, they don't care about you. You die and they don't care about you, especially the Frenchies and the Normans. They're the worst, I tell you, man. For hitchhiking, it's, it's the worst. Every time I'm here, it's, it's horrible here. Bunch of hypocrites, really. You know, they're already anticipating the day which will come. That um, they're flying with choppers over the houses, looking for the last persons who haven't taken Pharaoh's poison yet, the needle. And when they see here square and compass, the circle in the middle is the compass. You know, they, they, they know they, they, they can leave the people alone here. Although, they never took the needle, because they're pharaohs. Instead of that, you know, they're chasing Homie Ross. Because he never took the needle, yeah. You know, we already see it in the, in the Ukraine, you know, they're flying overhead with choppers looking for you. you know? And again, the, uh, the percentage of those who have taken the needle in Russia and the Ukraine is about 23%, you know. That's one of the reasons there's that war. Yeah. Ordo ab cao. So these are Canadians. Oh, there's a Canadian flag there. Uh, you know, it says at the bottom here, 
dedicated to the memory of those who fought without promise. Well, there's no promise though, they promise nothing. They would, the French wouldn't even take a Canadian hitchhiker. At least though, they don't take a South African hitchhiker. Without promise, reward or relief for the liberation of Europe. Well, what, what liberation? Go and take Pharaoh's poison and the hope of a better world. We're in the middle of the Ukraine war now. It's all a lie, you know. Yeah. He died for nothing. And all these guys, you know, like driving around in Second World War army vehicles. You know, they're all French, I noticed. So you died and they took your car and they, and they don't even take any hitchhikers. They're not thankful at all, I tell you, the Frenchies. They're not thankful at all, you know. So don't do their wars. So this here's uh, Juno Beach. There's an interesting little castle here behind. I guess if I walk in, you know, I'm, I'm not that welcome with all the fancy words here, you know. Hypocrites. So here I am in Bernier-sur-Ville, where they, uh, the 6th of June, June 6th, commemorations are supposed to be. So here in Bernier, there are the officials, I don't know what they're doing. Some generals and... Oh, okay, that's it. So we're waiting the allies coming by the sea. <laughs> England is on the other side. So apparently we cannot stay here, not, not even here. But this is interesting, you've got the coat of arms here. And there's three crosses on it. Like, it looks like Templar's crosses, but anyway, it's the concept of three. And a cross is the concept of four because it's got a square in it. And, uh, so we can't, we can't, we can't even stay here. And apparently, they said there's a uh, like a big screen on the other side. Yeah. So we all have to go to the other side. So this is the French Air Force coming up. They come and save uh, the president. Yeah, there they are. Three, of course. The concept of three. There we go. It's them. Only them are in the air. And we're taking their bombs back. And that's the fourth one. Look at it. That's number four is over there. So all together, it's the concept of three here. And it's the concept of four all together. It's always the same thing. I can't really see the screen very much. It's, I'm sorry. I hope you can see it. So now they're 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 joining together into the number four here. Yeah? So it says square and compass. It's everywhere. Yeah. Look, they, 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 they're gonna throw us out. These guys, these guys here. That was fair round. This is me. There's a female Freemason with the, with the white gloves, you know, wearing white gloves. They kicked us all out here. You know, the white gloves. Yeah, white is for the New World Order. And I think it's the ministry, the, minister, the female minister of defense, I think it's coming. Now you see, they kicked everybody out there, you know. Yeah, well, it, I, I don't see anything on my LCD. Um, Canada. So there apparently is some of the, the minister coming, my soldier boys. You know, 
I wanted to come here and give some information, you know, against wars. Instead of it, you know, it's all the belligerent rom romanticism. Shame, you know, with the soul drivers here kicking everybody out here. What a shame. At least the weather is good, it's gorgeous. Other soldier dudes coming. Going my way, of course. This guy standing guard, it's like a concentration camp, you know? It's ridiculous. This is why we fought for, you know, like the liberation or that's why our grandfathers they fought for. people on the other side, it's like a big concentration camp, all these soldiers there, the salt drivers, there's another one coming up, get used to the total control. Freemasons, they were the, you know, with the white gloves, he was free to stand there, eh? and over there as well. A lot of French here, you know, they started moaning, they don't like this at all. Oh, they don't like it at all. Probably snipers sitting here, you know. This is with their terrorism. That was a pretext, you know, to get all this in. Let's see if there's any police snipers there. The flags and all that, you know. Bloody hypocrites, eh? Look at that. All the fairground colors. Canadians died at Juno Beach. Nothing. The total control here. I'll we'll have to sit here. There are the French who don't like it. <laughs> so apparently it's happening there, you know, like in the middle of the ocean here. Can't even see it, you know. So we're like all waiting here, and there's nothing going on here. You know? Over there it's Pharaoh, but this is me, Sean. Look, oh the Pharaonic colours, isn't that lovely? Red for the old world's order, white for the new world's order, the Perhet, the Pertasser, and blue for the war. How many are there? Count them eight, of course, octagon. Yes, they are. Eight of them. That's octagon of the Nazi Templars, of course it is. Are they coming back? Oh. I don't know if you see it, but there's like. There's one more hanging around there for the, the ninth Templar, yeah, because there were, there were nine Templars, you see? Uh, behind the frame. There. There were nine original Templars. So you got Octogon and the nine. It's 
really demonic, it's sick, you know. So was that all? I can't see it. They did, they just did Pharaoh's flag over there. Oh, you can see it, I can't see anything. My LCD is completely it's gone, you know. Yeah. Showing the pharaoh and the colours. So in here came the veterans, I suppose, with the taxi. All the way from London. I don't know what kind of a veterans they were. Probably from some other, some other war or something. So, you know, of course they're not heroes. You know, everybody is afraid in a war. They just made a hero out of them, you know, because of, because of some political reasons, you know, to, it's the whole belligerent, romantic, you know, that's what it's all about, you know. It's all politics, you know, to make the next people like doing their wars for them, you know. So I have no idea what kind of a veteran they are. Thank you. So it's a ridiculous show in total control. So don't do their wars for them, you know, because we just end up in a total control. It's absolutely... It's ridiculous, you know. This is why you do their wars for, you know. They take themselves so serious. I even saw a D minor, you know, jacket. You know, they're all the, you know, I don't know how many motorcycles of them. And uh, cars. You know, you do their wars for them, you know, and they, they just take themselves serious and, you know, make a whole show for themselves, take all your money. And, yeah, and you just die for this, you know. You know, it's just a ridiculous show, you know. And I just wanted to show you that I was here and I'm off. It's not my thing. They even have special badges for the Juno beach here and this one also so well, I can't see my LCD screen okay thank you sir well, some more military cars coming the ones who never fought I think this is a Dutch number plate I think or is it French there's some more coming next to the typical church of those days very nice church I wonder how old it is yeah it's really nice. So let's have a look at the uh, the, the symbols. You know. oh, it looks pretty old, eh? Interesting. Hmm. Hello, are you the security guy? They, they took your car, you died, and uh, this is this is what happened, you know. So all these peoples who never fought, they, uh, they 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 have the cars, you know. You died in it, and they they took your car. Uh, don't fight their wars for them, you know, because they, they, they take, your, take your car and you die. Yeah. 
Oh, here they come, the sort of veterans in these cars, you know. Oh, they're empty. What a circus, you know. What a circus. Oh, they're empty. So, I never want to come here again. Circus. So here it says the ceremony, the 78th anniversary of the, uh, the Allied landings here, eight flags, and uh, you know, well, it was nothing, you know, but look at this here. There are indeed three Templars crosses in yellow. Templars, and of course they had a uh, they had a, a large fleet, which has the concept of four in it. There are four sails in it, and there are three crosses. So it does say square and compass. And it says in litore in constanti constans. Hmm. Uh, so they didn't celebrate it for. Uh, for two years because of the um, Pharaoh's poison, Pharaoh's bug war. Yeah, it says here, committee of the, uh, the Allied landings. But this is very interesting. You know. Ah, and it also has the uh, the fatches in it on on both sides, like the. Uh, like the uh, Yashin and Boas. So it means, you know, one you cannot break one of these uh, straws, but all together, you know, you, you cannot break them. So that means one for all and all for one. Unus pro omnibus, omnis pro uno, like on the Swiss, in the Swiss, uh, on the Swiss ceiling in the Swiss parliament, or where we go one, we go all, it's all the same thing, you know. So, very occult, everything. The whole thing. So but it's, it's a misery to have been here, really. Uh, I, I thought to, you know, to have a decent conversation, but the, the people are empty in their heads, you know. Mucho maricones aquí. So I met this guy here from Spain, he's also hitchhiking. And uh, yeah look. Got his backpack here. Mucho <laughs> suerte! Well, how could it be more obvious? Two squares and a circle. It says square and compass. Tremper. It means hitchhiker in Germany. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, incredible. Eh? It's everywhere, you know. I'm here in a petrol station and I'm soaked. Now this guy is going to take me finally. I've been here since yesterday evening. Yesterday, yeah. And look at the logo. There are squares in it, two squares. And on, on every one is a, is a circle for the compass. So it says square and compass. And there are four circles for the com concept of four. Well, it says square and compass and concept of three and four all over you know so many people they didn't take me you know because um, <clears throat> you know they're all afraid of each other instead of being afraid of the government you know that's that's the problem actually you know <clears throat> instead of being afraid of the government they, they're afraid of each other that's the people right? that's how the system works 
some, some great realizations. They're taking me hitchhiking exactly where I'm going, uh, next to Colmar. They're real experts and my backpack is underneath. Fantastic.